Hello Chip Chompers, and welcome to the 8 Brit Guy. It's a new month and I've got a new, very special video to share. Now, as you may have heard, Apple have spectacularly cancelled their upcoming wireless charger, saying that they just couldn't get it working right. But whilst the new tech fails, the old tech continues to give us nostalgic goosebumps. We just found out about the Sega Genesis Mini a couple of days ago, with 40 retro games included. And today, I've been sent another new mini retro machine Bing. and asked to do the exclusive reveal, this time of a Commodore flavor, Bing. but without the number 64 anywhere to be seen. Hmm, mysterious. Well, let's dig into this tasty mini morsel right now in this special edition of Retro Recipes. Welcome. Here it is. Yep, it's the Commodore Plus 4 Mini. Let's open it up. Well, I have to admit, I was pretty surprised when I opened this up, just as surprised as Puppy Fractic was. But after exploring it for a few minutes, I realized just how much sense it really made. I was also amazed and surprised at the response to my recent video, let's explore the plus four. And it became clear to me through that, that there is a lot of love for the original version of this machine. Now, I don't think they made this because of my video, no, obviously not. Um, in fact, as you may have heard, Bill Hard himself has been heard at work on, on this um, with the mini making team for quite a few months. And another thing is, for me, the beauty of the original Plus 4 is literally in its physical beauty. And this little thing, well, it reflects that design in perfect pocket-sized perfection. It's just fun to have around, you know, sitting on a coffee table, um, even if it's unplugged. Now, I'll be covering this device in more detail in an upcoming hour-long episode. But for now, let's take a quicker look at the packaging. It's pretty clear from the outset that they've gone for the tongue-in-cheek gimmicky approach, you know, immediately owning this as the world's worst selling home computer. Uh, obviously, that's not quite factual. Um, there have been way worse selling computers. The company also told me that sticking to their kind of tongue in cheek rhetoric they said, we realized the original Plus 4 wasn't well received for the $300 price, but if it had been half the size, it would have seemed like twice as good. Um, I mean, in a way, I guess I know what they're getting at. You know, those four simplistic business programs included in the memory psychologically sort of fit better into this small case. Now you almost feel like you're getting more value for the space or for your money. Even if I'm told that this mini version may sell at close to the original $299 price point. And the big question is, when can you buy it? Uh -huh. Excuse me. Hi, do you have the Commodore Plus 4 Mini? No, but you'll never guess how many inquiries we've had on there. Really? How many? Nothing. Let's take a very quick look at the menu system that drives the minus six of the Plus 4 Mini. Now the box says four games included, but of course they mean programs, they're not really games. And as you can see, it boasts the same business suite as the original machine. And just for us purist retro heads, they've changed nothing, and I like that. 
know, the word processor still has its classic 99 line limit. And you'll need to scroll horizontally to see each line fully as you write your novel, just short novel. But they've included this. Just like the C64 Mini, you get the Competition Pro Style controller. And it just plugs into the Mini uh, USB Mini Mini in the side there. And they say this is designed specially for spreadsheets, so you can navigate the cells of the spreadsheet uh, without using the plus four cursor keys. Because as with any Mini machine, the keyboard is non-functioning. Um, instead, they've sent me this depiction of how they envisage using the device. Now, at first glance, this seems silly, but to a lot of us in this community, this is actually appealing. You know, Excel has become so complex. You know, you make a border around a table and then you add a new cell and then that cell is missing the side of its border. And I don't know, just like Apple's wireless um, well, existenceless charger, it's a mess and I crave that simplicity. Yet yeah, there's limits of days gone by. Everything was so straightforward. And so it is with the Plus 4 Mini's spreadsheet. What you sheet? is what you spread, what you see is what you get. By the way, sorry for any glitches in the matrix that you may see in this video. They tell me there may be a fifth game included at launch, and they may rebrand this, the Plus 5 Mini, to reflect that and avoid a lawsuit. Now, they couldn't say more about that fifth package, but I was able to hack into the menu system code and see some blurb that may reflect its features. In the full episode, I'll be unscrewing this bad boy uh, to see the rumored miniature miniature TED chip that's inside, designed by Bill Hurd himself. And that non-functioning keyboard is apparently non-functioning for good reason. Yep, reportedly the entire keyboard acts as one giant heatsink with aeration vents in between the keys. Clever. And what else is clever is that apparently the PCB inside the Mini is made by PCB Way. They have a New Year's sale with up to 30% off and several new advanced PCB production options. Because as we all know, PCB stands for Plus 4 Commodore Baby. Well, that's all coming up in a few weeks. Coming up next week, I'll be taking you through the making of my brand new text adventure game for the Commodore 64. Maybe I'll port it to the Plus 4. Anyway, it's called The Search for Sid. But what think you of the Plus 4 5 Mini, or of the beta of my game that you can download from the description right now? Well, happy April, comment below, and cheerio. It's the plus four mini. <laughs>